Hello, and welcome to the Field of Engineering's very own podcast. I'm your host, Victor Pihoviak. And I'm also your host, Nick Precht. Nick, what do you think humanity's most pressing issue right now? Well, Vic, there are many different threats to humanity right now that could cause our global extinction. There's overpopulation, warfare, and climate change to name a few. However, there are also issues beyond the control, like natural disasters, asteroid impacts, and even solar flares, which could strike at any moment and wipe out all of humanity. But Vic, I think we may have a solution to these issues. I mean, there'd be no point to the podcast without one, right? You're right, Nick. That's where our project, Designing 3D Printing Robots for Exoplanetary Construction, comes in. Essentially, what we're going to do is take existing concrete 3D printing technology that already exists in the world and combining it with modern-day rover technology. What this will result in is a mobile 3D printer that doesn't take the work and setup that current concrete 3D printing robots need. In the end, this will result in us being able to send rovers that can set up bases on Mars without us even being there. This will make it a lot safer for astronauts. And also, we could possibly use it for construction here on Earth, along with military applications. Nick, how did we go about doing this? Well, Vic, to start off, we used Autodesk AutoCAD in order to come up with the concept models from the sketches we drew and our list of criteria. We then would evaluate them and determine their strengths and weaknesses, adjusting them until they fit our criteria. Afterwards, we would use Autodesk Inventor, where we would create the parts with detail and run virtual testing, analyze the physical limitations of the designs. If they failed, then we go back to the beginning and redesign them. Once we got a passing design, we would 3D print them and assemble them as required into the full model. As part of our project, we also wanted our designs to have function to be able to simulate the tasks they were being designed to carry out. To do this, we used a Raspberry Pi, which powered step promoters in order to give it movement. Now, what were the results we had in the end, Vic? Well, where we stand now, by the end of this project, is with a robot that is able to move on the X and Y axes. We are currently in the stages of implementing the Z axis to allow printing, but right now we feel comfortable with the amount of progress we've achieved due to us having little to no experience with the hardware and software that we used during this project. It has allowed us to gain a much more substantial amount of knowledge in this field. We've designed multiple iterations further improving each part of our designs one by one. And our overall design of a modular components allow us to quickly swap out different parts for testing. In the end, this has allowed us to create a streamlined robot with a, what we believe, a very efficient chassis and drivetrain module. The 3D printer (laughs) section is also attached, allowing us to complete prints. However, we have not programmed that part of the robot in. In the future, we plan on completing the Z-axis, and again, further exploring any type of Z or Y-axis movements, since this would be the most important part of the robot. However, at this current stage, we're quite comfortable with our design. All right, everyone. That's all the time we have for today's podcast. Well then, we'll see everyone next time. Bye.